again. Perfection is often desired but rarely achieved and Ryan Murphy has the chance to be perfect in his NCAA career not only in one race but two. Last night he won his fourth straight NCAA 100 back title matching the legend John Neighbor with four college crowns in that race. He has the chance to do the same with his fourth 200 back title rally and look at this rare air to do the double. Just take a look at that list. You've got the greatest collegiate backs neighbor the greatest butterflyer in college history and Pablo and Brendan Hansen obviously you know all about him and his breaststroke efforts unbelievable list there and he might just be able to join them and and Jason his best time is three seconds faster than anybody else in the field everybody else in the field doing their best just to make the final all other seven swimmers as you look at the lane assignment set a personal best just to get here to the final and I'm not I'm sure I've ever seen that in a race where you took a best time just to make the final. In fact, 12 of the 16 finals, there's a consolation final as well, 12 of the 16 went their best times, but this guy is the class of all of them, and he did not go his best time, by the way. 138.2 in the prelims, a lot left in the tank, I believe. Greatest backstroker in the world today. So the question for Ryan Murphy, if he's so dominant, can he do it again and maybe do it in another record time? I think Jason, with the... This, this rich tradition of excellence that the United States has had in backstroke has ramped up this event so much. That's one of the reasons why so many swimmers went their best times are because of the neighbors and the carries and the Kraselbergs and the Pearsalls and now because of Ryan Murphy and what he's been able to do. He has raised the level so high that everybody wants to be there with him. Strong start for John Shebbett, the sophomore from Texas who was the runner up to Murphy in the 100 back. Can he push him here in double the distance? Well, remember that he won the 100 backstroke last year by two seconds. He barely won the 100. Even though he was the only swimmer to break 44, he only won by three or four tenths of a second. He won this race by three seconds last year. He's not going to win it by three seconds this year. And Shevitt is giving him a battle early on. Still 100 yards left to go, but he's almost the full length body length ahead of Brian Murphy. Patrick Mulcair in lane five. Sophomore from USC is in third. But John Shevitt still has the lead here over the three-time defending NCAA champion in this race. And oh yeah, the Olympic champion from Rio as well. Well, this is where the heart of an Olympic champion comes into play. Right here, this last 50 yards. The sophomore from Texas, can he take down the greatest in history, or at least the greatest in the world today? And Ryan Murphy, what a turn by Murphy, what a race this is going to be. Shevitt in lane three, Murphy alongside in lane four, overtaking him to the line, and Brian Murphy does it again. Four Pete's is NCAA champ in the 200 back. Second fastest time in history. And when the best are pressed, they respond with exceeding results. And Ryan Murphy, tested by John Shebbett, and delivers a supreme performance. Oh, I think the United States just found another backstroker, though, to go with Ryan Murphy. Shebbett was over a second faster than he's ever been. That's the fourth fastest time in history by Shevitt. But there's the king right there. Watch him off the block. Ryan Murphy in that yellow cap. Boy, great underwater slide by, by Shevitt. This is a backstroker to watch, guys. Watch the halfway point. Shevitt taking that strong lead early on. This kid is a sophomore. A sophomore. Mulcair above him who also swam well in getting 137.8 from USC. He's a sophomore, but right there in the middle of the pool, Ryan Murphy. The heart of a champion coming into this last turn. Shevitt still had the lead. Look at Mulcair, a sophomore. Beautiful swim by all three of these guys. Unbelievable. All three under 138. 
But there's a reason why Ryan Murphy is the Olympic champion. It's because of right now. Ryan, a bit of a closer race than we saw in the 200 back last year. Could you feel what was happening around you and how close it was? Yeah, I mean, I could see him on every turn. Um, you know, that hasn't really happened to me short course in a while. Um, so that was, you know, kudos to those guys. They were, they were cooking out there. Um, you know, it was really nice to have them pushing me the whole way. Now, that was the last individual race of your college career. How would you describe the impact that your coaches... Dave and Yuri have had on you in the last four years? I mean, everything. Um, you know, it, it, it extends so much far beyond uh, the pool. Um, you know, I look up to those two guys like crazy. They're great role models. And I think they've made me into a better person over these four years. Congratulations. A guy that simply can't be beat in the backstroke, at least in the past four years. Eight NCAA individual titles in the 100 and 200 back and the two Olympic gold medals in those races. Ryan Murphy gets it done again. Shebet and Mulcair certainly delivering strong performances with some of the fastest times ever. Connor Oslin in fourth for Alabama. So Ryan Murphy joins this distinguished list of athletes that have done the double in 100 and 200 events with four NCAA championships in both in their careers. You can add the name Murphy to the likes of Neighbor, Morales, and Hanson.